Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about levofloxin or levofloxin. You may also know it by Levaquin. Um, this is a fluoroquinolone. You may recognize also another um, medication antibiotic that is in that group is ciprofloxin. Um, this is a, an antibiotic that we typically save for more serious infections. It is used to treat pneumonia and urinary tract infections, but it also treats things like prostatitis and kidney infections, aka pyelonephritis. One of the important black box warnings to understand and remember about this medication is that it can potentially cause tendon rupture, specifically and most commonly in the Achilles tendon. So you might want to tell patients to be watching out for something like that. And the risk does increase when they're over the age of 55 years old. Also, some other things that can increase that risk is if they're on steroids or if they're an organ transplant. And it can actually happen months after using this medication. Number three, make sure to tell the patient, specifically if they're taking oral levofloxin, to avoid dairy products and antacids approximately two hours, space it two hours apart, because it can cause um, decreases in absorption of this medication. Number four, it does increase the risk for aortic rupture, and so if the patient already has a history of that, you want to be very careful to tell them to probably, um, maybe they may need to avoid this medication. And finally, number five, renal dosing. This medication can affect the kidneys, and so it may need to be renal dosed. So if you have a patient whose creatinine is a little lower, just remember to let either the on-call person know or whoever's prescribing it um, that it may need to be adjusted.